Hey folks, Roland Martin here with a little YouTube adventure talking about wood turning. And I got one of the champion instructors of all time, Steve Cook. How y'all doing? And, and is Steve, <laughs> where, where are we? We're in Pembroke, Georgia at Four Arches Farm. And, and Steve does a lot of things. He teaches at the university. He does all sorts of classes and he's, he's teaching me some wood turning and how to build bowls and how to make fishing lures and how to do and everything. I like to make turkey calls. I like to make cutting boards. So there's a little bit of woodwork that I do fun. now. And so, but you're going to show me some of the finer points. Let's, let's, let's look at your shop. Yes, sir. Because I'd like to see what you got in there. Come on in. I got a big lathe coming, a big 24 inch lathe that, uh, that I'm going to have. In fact, it's a, oh, it's just like this lathe. It's pretty much, and that's, that's, that's your big lathe. Now, Steve and I were working just a little bit ago, and look at the thing. Look at look what we made. We made this just what an cherry, hour ago. Nice little cherry bowl. Eight yeah, inch cherry that's, bowl. that's cherry wood, and uh, I did a little bit of it. You did most of it. Yeah, you did. You did good. You did great. <laughs> but anyway, uh, our goal today is Steve's going to just in a few minutes show me some of the basic tools to use, and uh, we're going to make a fishing lure. So let's get started. Let's okay, Steve. Let's uh, we made the bowl. Let's get a piece of what, what kind of wood did you recommend for a, I'm going to make a fishing lure like this Zara Spook, like here's one right here. This Zara okay. Spook is a lure that I think we can make. I would say we want to use some poplar if it's poplar? going to be, you want something lightweight, you, you, right? You got poplar wood right here? We do. We got some poplar right over here. Okay. We got a couple little pieces we can make that out of. Now no maybe you can, we can show how to set the, set the camera up. Is it, is it hard to set up? No. The uh, the lay for this Pretty simple. Okay. Pretty simple. It'll be easy. Okay. We can set that up right up here if you want. Okay. So uh, we're going to put, this is, uh, Chuck, you're going to have to have a, all the little pieces for that. Okay. Yeah. So here's got some stuff right here. So okay. We'll get a, we're going to take this piece of wood and make a educated guess at our center point. Okay. And this will just give us a nice little reference mark to put in here. Okay. And we're going to use a little step center, spring-loaded drive center that'll work really nice for this. Put that point on there. Then we've got to grab our live center, which I must have put away. Here it is. Okay. All right. So we got... That's going to go right in there. We'll slide this guy up here, slide our tail stock up, lock it down. This is... Locked in here, we've got our tail center drawn up. We're going to tighten that down so everything's good to go. Make sure we can spin okay. that, and then we're ready to now, take What our... speed? You have to have it at a certain speed, right? Yeah, we can take this, and we can turn. This we can turn pretty fast because it's a very small diameter. Yeah. The bigger the diameter, the slower you're going to want to go, um, especially with a bowl. But for something like this, we can run this up probably the other Now, we one. need protective eye stuff. Yes, sir. Stuff. Okay. We'll Definitely want some safety glasses on here. Okay. You only get two, so you might as well keep them. So, safety glasses. If you're going to use a chuck, you want to have a face shield on here, but we're not using a chuck right now, so we don't need to worry about that. And we're going to make sure that this is our tool rest. We're going to make sure that we can cut at center. Okay. So, it'll have to be a little below center to have okay. this tool cutting okay. at center. This is our spindle roughing gouge. Okay. So, and that'll work really nicely for this. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is turn my speed up a little bit. Oh, we've got 2,000 RPM. Wow. Yeah, so we can even go faster than that if we want, but that's fast enough for now. I got okay. my handle against the side. I get the tool anchored on the tool rest. I'm going to come in here and just touch the wood, raise my handle, and when that starts cutting, when that starts cutting, I can slide back and forth with this. Now you were telling me before you can feel this, and, you, and see I can feel a little thing that's yep. not quite round yet. Nope, you can it's, feel it's not quite round on the back okay, side. So okay. And you can put your tool up here and you can tell it's not round. So it's not round, so you got to keep going. Okay. Yep, so we're going to keep going. And just a nice light touch on here. We're not going to go crazy. And this is all about finesse more than it is about brute force. And this is just a little roughing cut to get Ooh, this it's round. Oh, now. That's, that's new there. That's okay. a little rough there. Okay. Well, let's take a okay. look at it. Okay, I think we're round. 
Yeah, pretty much round. Yeah, that's got pretty a good. tiny little flat spot there. But let me get my piece of paper. I want to show you what we're trying to about that size. Okay. So we can take a, a pencil and you can kind of mark it off however you want to do it. All right. And uh, so we want to have about like about like that long. Maybe, maybe a little shorter. Okay. About in here. Yeah, Something I'd say like that'd that. be good. That'd okay. be good. Okay. Something He's like making that. the length of it. That's going to be the length of it now. Now the head of it's a little fatter where you tie the line is a little fatter than the tail part. Okay. So we'd have a, a and it'd be quite a bit thinner. So this is way too thick. So anyway, we'll keep working on it. Yeah. Let's well, we can get it down a little bit okay. more. So we can come back on here and get our diameter down to what we whatever we think our final okay. diameter is going to be, and then we'll go ahead and remark that. Okay. You just tell me when you think they're pretty close to what you think this is going to be. Well, I think it has to go quite a bit farther. I'd say we have to go... I think you're, you're about... You're off we're about closer there. to the right diameter for, for the lure. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. So again, we're I making, a, looking good we're making a, a... Is there a spook looking deal? So we got it about the, the same diameter. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. We can mark it. You want to mark off what you want? Well, I don't wish we were going to... Which way is the head? Up I'd here? say we'll leave the fatter part up here. The, he, the head the head one here. Yep. And then the tail, like about here. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll just mark that okay. up. Okay. And then we're just going to shape this a little bit. So I'm going to come in here and just give myself a couple of points where I know I can stop. Okay. Yeah, the tail has to be... Now Steve was showing me how to hold the, the, the tools and so I, I'm kind of learning how to get the, the cut and learn I'm, I'm not going to do it but I'm going to at least keep you telling me how to do it. I think this 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 is about the right diameter now. This is going to have to taper. Yeah, we need to come down a little bit more. Yeah. So if we're going to taper, I got the tool anchored on the tool rest. I got some reference with my hand and I got the handle against my side so I'm going to be able to move my body while I do this. Okay. Okay. And just get a little paper going on here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Taking shape now. Yeah. It's gonna be what a little thinner, not much. A little thinner down here. Just a little bit more. Yeah. And then we can okay. also take the tool this way. Push it over just a tiny bit. Oh, we're really getting smooth now. Oh yeah. Now well, that's, that's get, looking good there, Steve. And that's getting down there pretty nice and clean. Yep. 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 It's so actually be be this this diameter right here. So okay. Okay, we're yeah. looking good. I think we will. You know, we'll. Uh, yeah. You now, want okay. to part it off of there? Well, yeah, I guess I don't know how to do the final. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take my spindle gouge. Okay. Instead of the big spindle roughing gouge, we'll move our tool rest in just a little bit. Okay. And then we can take this. And that cuts it. That'll cut it off, huh? Like yeah. Well, we can we can taper this down a little bit more. I see what you mean. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Put that right down yeah. in there. And then we can come back here. The head, same way. Yeah. And do the same thing on the head. Yeah. Yeah. Just give ourselves a little more room to work over here. You know, one of our mutual friends is Don Rollins with uh, with the Spike It Corporation. Spike it. Yep, and Chromacraft. And, and, and also, he makes uh, all sorts of paint. 
for this exact type of lure. He, yeah, he makes some wonderful dyes and paints and finishes that just work. So really ap well after we this. get this done, I'm going to take it to Don on the next YouTube and show him right. how to color it up. That'll be great. <laughs> That'll be great. You doing that tomorrow, I think? Yeah, I think so. Well, yeah, he's got him. all the nice stuff in his shop for that. Now, you were telling me before, if you, if you use the right tools, you don't really have to even sand it, do you? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you get the thing really sharp and really your tools are sharp, I mean, look how smooth that thing is. If they really, 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 really. If you got a nice sharp tool and you got you got your tool riding right and rubbing the bevel and all that good stuff, sanding is just going to be an absolute minimum. Okay. Anything I can do to avoid sanding, I do. Well, let's go ahead and cut it off and get ready to go, and we're almost ready to to, to get the thing all to right. the painting process. Yeah, I'm going to hit it with a, just a tiny okay. bit of sandpaper. Nothing fancy, just okay. a little bit here. Okay. Boy, I think really and you never want to use anything that won't tear on a lathe. Never use a rag or sandpaper that won't rip. That way, if it ever gets caught in a lathe, it'll just tear out and you don't have to worry about your fingers getting sucked in. Okay. Uh, that can really, so that really should be pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. Now we're just going to go back and forth. Until fear I'm going to catch a big old trails. bass on that thing, Steve. All right. I'd like to see that. That'd be fun. It's so neat to watch Steve. You know, yet, and that nice thing about wood turning and making bowls and making lures is that, you know, it, 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 you can, everybody has their own idea of what you know what's what's pretty. I think that that's just the right size. Of it. Yeah, I think that looks good from what you were showing me. Well, folks, you see what Steve has done. He's got it all ready to cut off and all ready to take to to the next step, and that's putting the hardware on it and painting painting it up. So here's the, except for just a, a few little modifications, it's the right wood. Yep. It's turned the right way. It's, it's all smooth, it's balanced perfect. And Steve, as an expert wood turner, you have shown me a lot about Thank you. how to use these tools. And we, I didn't use it today, but you did show me how to do yeah, it. You've been doing and we some made of it. things like a bowl. You've been working on that rod for a while on that. A lure. So it's been, <laughs> been quite a day. Yeah, it's been Thank a great you, day. Sir. Thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, YouTubers. We'll see you later.